Well, well, well. Well, well, well. I got it a day early. I've been waiting for this phone for a while. Um, it, it's not like this phone is going to be anything surprising, right? Like, I'm not going to open this phone and be like, oh my God, this is the best phone ever because this phone is pretty much right up the alley of the Pixel 4. We're going to compare the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4a. I mean, we've seen this unboxing already, I'm sure. So like, I don't watch a lot of tech YouTube videos, but um, I'm sure a lot of you do. I'm sure you guys watch more than just me. So I haven't really had a chance to see how other people really feel about this phone. But yeah, smaller footprint for sure than the Pixel 4, right? Uh, you can see the different, sorry, I know it's just, you can see how that Pixel 4 is a bit taller. That's it. That's your ASMR for today. You know, it's awesome because it's it's weird to see like the one thing behind here that I have been missing on my Pixel 4 is the rear fingerprint reader, right? That's not on here at all because this has a facial, <laughs> this has a facial, this has facial recognition. Also, if you look at the top here on the Pixel 4a, there is a headphone jack where the Pixel 4 does not have one at all. As far as like tactile feel, like the button feel, feels exactly the same, which is nice to know because the Pixel 4 feels pretty good as far as tactile buttons and the Pixel 4a feels pretty much the same. Can you guys hear that clickety clack? but it feels good. It feels good. So we'll go ahead and we'll power up the Pixel 4a. Look at, look at how symmet or look at how symmetrical that front display is, right? Look at, look at that. Look, look, look at how, look, this is the, this is the $800 Pixel 4. Hold on. This is the $800 Pixel 4 right here. Look at how asymmetrical, look at how asymmetrical this this looks so, you cannot, you can't sit here and tell me that this Pixel 4a, this $350 Pixel 4a does not look better aesthetically than this $800 Pixel 4. Look, look at, look at how big that forehead is. That, that just, it just does not scream high end. 350, 350, 800. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not only is this 800, not only is this Pixel 4 800, but this is an $800 64 gig version. This is a 350, 128 gig version. This has more, this has, this Pixel 4, this $800 Pixel 4 has less internal storage. It's crazy that if you wanted the same internal storage on this Pixel 4, you would have had to spend $900 versus this uh, $350 um, Pixel 4a. And honestly, I'll, I'll tell you this right now. Honestly, when I feel the Pixel 4a versus the Pixel 4, they, they feel, they feel pretty similar. This Pixel 4a does not feel two and a half times more expensive than this Pixel 4a. The same kind of tactile feel. I mean, this is a good thing. This is a good thing for the Pixel 4a. This is more of like a disappointment for the Pixel 4. That that's really what it comes down to. That's that's kind of how I feel about it. Sim ejector tool. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking I'm gonna be taking the sim out of my Huawei P40 Pro Plus, and I'm gonna be putting it into uh, my Pixel 4a. That is gonna be my daily driver. So you know, a bunch of bullshit paper here, and then a charging brick, right? Uh, USB-C to USB-C cable. And then you have this little adapter here. I'm not going to take it out because I never use it. Yes, it's it's a much lighter phone than the Pixel 4. I love that I can just do this from the fingerprint reader. Like so far, it's, it's what I expected, right? I expected this. I knew it was going to be good. I mean, obviously I haven't had time to like mess around with it, but when you when you consider the fact when you consider the fact that this Pixel 4a is 350 bucks with 128 gigs of internal storage with the camera that it has in it it's it's going to be it's going to be a good buy with vanilla android a clean you know a clean version of android and software support for 3 years it's great for me this this feeling if you felt what a Pixel 4 feels like it feels very similar on the Pixel 4a almost indistinguishable. Like if I close my eyes, 
the Pixel 4a feels a little smoother or the Pixel 4 feels a little smoother, but it's not, it, it's not, I'm not saying that that's not like a better thing or anything. The Pixel 4a still feels pretty good because right now, even when I'm pressing on the buttons, which I've said earlier, feels very tactile, uh, I don't hear any kind of creaking. Jerome, mind doing a quick speaker comparison? <sighs> This is like almost impossible guys, but whatever, here we go. I'm just gonna play a portion, put it like this. Maybe uh, this coming Wednesday or this coming Thursday. And as soon as I get that, I'll um, I'll do an unboxing. I mean, I think we've, I already did an unboxing with Leo. He already did it on the channel here, but I wanna give you my first impressions. I'll have my Pixel 4 as well. So I can compare the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4a. I'll do an unboxing. I mean, I think we've, I already did an unboxing with Leo. He already did it on the channel here, but I want to give you my first impressions. I'll have my Pixel 4 as well. So I can compare the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4a. I think that'll be good to kind of just like. Am I crazy or, or did that Pixel 4a sound louder? This is almost impossible to do guys, but I'm going to like, I need to hear it again. So like I'm, they're both at the same spot right now. Kind of just like give a good like comparison, show you the size next to my iPhone 11 Pro. Give a good like comparison, show you the size next to my iPhone 11 Pro and the 4A the 4A sounds a little louder. This it might just be me like being crazy right now, but if anything one doesn't sound for sure the 4A doesn't sound worse. If anything, they sound almost exactly the same, but like, and, and this is only a YouTube video, right? I haven't played music on Spotify. I should do that, but I can't do it here because I don't want to like get this demonetized or whatever, but. And my Huawei P40 Pro Plus and whatever other phones I have, just to like, you know, give you a glimpse of what the phone is like compared to other phones, how it feels all and my Huawei P40 Pro Plus and whatever other phones I have just to like, you know, give you a glimpse of what the phone. I, I swear to God, the 4A sounds a little bit louder on the speaker. I, 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 it, it's such a, it's such an awful way to do the testing, but like, what, what is it called? Blind testing or <sighs> the 4A sounds a little bit louder, at least right now. Today, August 18th, Tuesday, 3.15 p.m. Central Time, the, the, the 4A sounds a little bit louder than the 4. Yeah, Damas says 4A sounds better. Look at it. You guys are saying 4A sounds way better. <laughs> See, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Um, Swanye was saying the 4 was super tinny or whatever. The 4A is more rounded of a sound. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. A, a, again, it's a very crude test. So I'll... I'll try to like sit and like listen to something on Spotify and then give you uh, my thoughts tomorrow. Barat Kumar, Barat, welcome to the stream. Hey, Jerome, do you think the Pixel 4a stood up to the expectations after so much hype and a couple of delays? Will the 4a have any chance to be the best budget phone of 2020? Um, so that that's a, that's a great question. And that's something that I, so when the 4a was not coming out and we never knew when it was coming out, I was like, rip, you know, I was like, the, the pixel shot itself in the foot. It wasn't, you know, they should have released it already, but I think even with the delays, I think it's still a solid phone. I think it's still a great competitor, especially since the OnePlus Nord is not here in the States. Uh, Barat, I don't know if you're in the States or you're elsewhere, but because people here in the States don't have access to a OnePlus Nord, the only option other than an iPhone SE is this Pixel 4a. And I don't think there's really anything else that can compete at $350 uh, here right now. I mean, we could we could argue that like yesterday there was a deal for the OnePlus 7T Pro, which is a great phone. And that was priced at $399. That's a great deal. That is a, that is a phone I would recommend if maybe the camera wasn't as high prioritized 
so I would recommend that over the 4A if you were looking for more like raw performance, better gaming, maybe probably a better battery as well. Um, but for a camera, for the price, the camera, the internal storage, I think the 4A can't be beat right now at 350 bucks. I think it is still going to be one of the best budget phones for 2020 for sure. I think people will recommend this phone up and down day and night, left and right, Jerome and Ortega. <laughs> I would recommend this phone, even though I've only used it now for the last hour.